Good evening, everybody. Welcome, all of you. I'm really happy to see you all. In 1988, I was on TV, KBS, in Korea. How did I look like? I was very thin. I didn't feel good. And myself, I just started New Star practice. I used to be a doctor. Of course, I'm a doctor too, still. Internal medicine doctor. And I have a profession in allergy. Even though I was an allergy doctor, I was suffering from allergies and all kinds of allergies and asthma. Also, I had uh, joint problems and rheumatoid arthritis, and also as I ate, I had esophagus uh, reflux. I was suffering from esophagus reflux. And also I had some problems in duodenum. How many? Yeah, four of them. I had also sinus problem, so I had, I used to have a headache. I get tired easily, so five, including sinus problems. And down there, I had a very sensitive colon. Sometimes, all of a sudden, I wanted to go to the bathroom, and I have diarrhea. And then I wanted to go to the bathroom, and I went there, and I had constipation. So my colon got constricted easily. Const constipation and diarrhea happen all the time. So that was number six. And I had piles as well. And I had rheumatoid arthritis. And oh, I had uh, fungus on my food as well. Athlete's food. I had athlete's feet. So how many? Yeah, it is eight. Uh, and I had two more, but I forgot. Oh, and I couldn't digest. So total, I had 11 sicknesses. Even though I was an internal medicine doctor, even though I had a profession in allergies, I couldn't get myself better. Even though I read the books, I couldn't help. Esophagus reflux, this modern Western medicine cannot heal. They cannot give total cure. What can they do? They can give us treatment. Well, treatment, therapy, and healing, totally different. Therapy means uh, relief, just to relieve your pain or symptoms. That's why we have emergency therapy and treatment. Even though you receive therapy or treatment, you won't get healed. 
healing and treatment are totally different. Maybe you think if you get the treatment, you feel like you are getting better. For example, hypertension, in case of hypertension, you take the medicine, but then that's just uh, balancing your blood pressure, that's all. If you take diabetes medicine, you don't get healed. People say once if you get depressant, I mean uh, medicine for hypertension, you have to eat until you die. You have to take the medicine until you die. What does that mean? It means you won't get healed by taking medicine. So far, you've taken treatment. So you thought you will get better if you get the treatment. And that's why you've been all around to receive the treatment. But those treatment or therapy, they can't help you. Through chemotherapy, they kill the cancer cells and sometimes say, oh, we succeeded. There's no cancer cells anymore. But later you see the second attack. It means you're not healed totally. It means you didn't get rid of the cause, the original cause. Here in this place, you have to find the real cause. So far, what you got in the hospital, you only got treated your symptoms. Your symptoms are only treated. We don't think about the cause usually. Well, doctors, the reason why is because doctors don't know the reason and the cause. When I was at the mil uh, medical school, I myself didn't know the cause. When I was in the medical school, we had no idea why the normal cell changed into cancer cells. We didn't know the reason why. We didn't know why the healthy person got diabetes. We couldn't explain that. So for doctors, we could only give you treatment. We couldn't get rid of the cause because we cannot explain. So those sickness will not be healed. So when I entered medical school, I was very disappointed. I was thinking, hmm, we only give them treatment. I thought I could heal people. But as I listen to my professor's lecture, they used to say, you cannot heal diseases. You can only give them treatment. But now, finally, You are going to have a new start to find the real cause. Now we have a picture here. This is a very recent picture from 
one of the prestigious uh, medical magazine. There it says treating the symptom. What does that mean, treating? Treating means therapy. Now, versus we have cure or healing. Now, symptoms means the things that you show or you can see. So doctors and nurses, they were they are or they've been taking care of the symptoms. Now there you see the water faucet. It is open, so the water is fl overflowing. Those water, that water in the room, that's the symptom. from the broken water faucet. But the doctors and nurses, they've been mock mopping the floor. Those, um, those moppings are the medicine. So when you have a hypertension, your blood pressure goes up. So doctors are balancing your blood pressure. That is mopping. No matter how hard they mop the floor, they cannot uh, repair the water faucet. Do you want to repair your water faucet? Then you have to know where the water faucet is. You have to really know what is the problem, what the problem is. Now you say, oh, I have diabetes. Oh, my blood pressure is high. You know, that can't help you to find the real reason. Here we have to find out where our broken water faucet is. Now you are sick. It means you have change in your body. It means you have something happening in your body. Why? Because your body has changed. Now our body is composed, con composed, it's made up of cells. It means our cells are changed. What does that mean? For example, let, let's say one of you are suffering from depression. Yes, depression also. You have your cell changed. You know endorphin, right? Where does it, where is it produced? It's from your brain cells. Endorphin is produced from your brain cell. If there's no endorphin, you're not happy, you can't smile. So in your brain, there's a program in your brain cell that can produce endorphin, hormone. And you have no endorphin because that program is not working. Now let's say pancreas cell, it produces insulin, which is lowering your blood, blood pressure. It levels your glucose. So pancreas has that program. So every cell has all different kinds of program. We call that program DNA. So if you have your cell, if your cell has a problem, it means the cell has a problem 
in its program. Now, endorphin genes are in your brain cell, and insulin genes are in your pancreas cells. If you have a problem with your liver, it means your genes to detoxicate that is not working. Now, if you have a cancer cell, it means In your body, you have a program to kill those cancer cells. Healthy person and cancer patients, there is nothing much difference. Well, you think healthy person doesn't have cancer cells. No, let's say I am very healthy, but in my body, inside of my body, 400 to 5,000 cancer cells are forming in my body. Everybody is the same way. So healthy person and cancer patients, they're about the same. They all have the cancer cells. But what is the difference? How come cancer patients became cancer patients? Even though Seng Lee, Dr. Lee, is not a cancer patient. Those who cannot kill those cancer cells become cancer patients. Even though they have to program, they can't kill those cancer cells. Originally, they are supposed to kill those cancer cells. In our body, we have stronger cancer killer cells, far better than those anti-cancer medicine. So every day, we're healed by those original uh, cancer killer cells. But because we can't kill those cancer cells, we go to the hospital. Now, there is a cell which can kill those cancer, cancer cells. We call that T lymphocyte. T cells can kill those cancer cells. Now, that's the cancer cells, and that is T cell. the most important white blood cell is T cell. There's a substance which can kill the cancer cells. We call that lymphatic toxin. There's a gene in the T cell which can kill those cancer cells. Now genes, DNA, they can be turned off and they can be turned on. So when the genes are inactivated, but they can also be activated. So when they are activated, So when the genes are activated, they are turned on. When they are inactivated, they are turned off. What does that mean turned on and turned off? There's got to be a switch to turn on and to turn off. There is a gene switch.
if there is a switch, then, for example, you have a TV. There is a switch on TV. Now you control those TV through remote control. Through remote control, there is a electrical waves. Even though you can't see it, those remote control, they can turn on the TV and turn off the TV. It's like the same way with our genes. Our genes can be turned on and turned off. Now we have a lot of cancer patients here. What is the reason? It's because the gene which can kill cancer cells is turned off. It cannot be turned on. The switch is off. It means you have cancer. Since when you're since when you were young, you've you have killed those cancer cells so far. But then you can't kill those cancer cells anymore, and that's why you became a cancer patient. It means your genes, which can kill the cancer cell, is turned off. You know, our genes can be turned on and turned off. To be turned on and turned off, what do you need? Remote control. And the person should click. And then those intangible electrical waves can turn on or turn off the TV, in case of TV. And now you guys, cancer patients, how can you get be how can you get be healed? Yeah, that's right. Those genes in your body should be turned on. But instead of turning on the genes, you get chemotherapy. And you kill your T cells. Okay, you killed your T cells and you killed your cancer cells, but then you have second attack again. Why? It's because th your T cells cannot produce cancer killing cells, the substance. So that is wrong. You have to know the real cause. If you get a cancer, And then you have to think, hmm, I have T cells in my body, and that T cell has this best gene which can kill cancer cells. Ah, but I think it's turned off. You have to realize this point. Now, let's say we are all cancer patients. There are some of you have diabetes, some of you have hypertension, but let's say we are all cancer patients. Now, how can we overcome this cancer? Do you have any ideas? How? Listen careful. In this New START program, you shouldn't be passive. Well, this is your sickness, so you are responsible for it. When you go to the hospital, doctors, yes, they are responsible for it. 
but those doctors can only give you the treatment. He cannot get rid of the cause. Now you're sick, who's responsible for that? Yourself, you are responsible for your sickness. So you should be very active. If you're passive, you cannot overcome your illness. Those attitude, oh, please someone come and help me. Those attitude is not the right attitude. Now I'm responsible for my sickness and I will be able to, I will be responsible for that. That is a right attitude. You know, me, myself, I'm, I can't. I'm not responsible for your sickness. Me, my job, I will let you know what the truth is about. Oh, yes, that's why. Okay, then I'm responsible for my sickness. And that's why, how, that's how I got my cancer. Okay, then I'll fight for it. Oh, saying is going to help me. Oh, saying is going to help me. No, no. Now you, you know this much. Now I ask you one more time. How can we get overcome cancer? Practice. Learn a new start and practice. Good answer. Sounds like it's a good answer, but I'm not so sure about that. Hmm, as I listen to the lecture, oh, that very important gene is turned off, which can kill my cancer cells. Then you have to know why it is turned off. Oh, I didn't know that. Then now, to know why it is turned off, For example, for example, you heard that mm, there is an electrical intangible waves coming. Then why is it turned off? Then you have to know why is it turned off. You have to first realize why is it turned off. Now, how can you receive the electrical Electrical waves. Now, what is the way? How can you receive that power back? You have to have this question, and then you will also have hope. Having hope and not having hope, they're totally different. Now, as I listen to the lecture, oh, I can get better. I can be healed. If you have this thought, how do you feel? You feel much better. Why? Why? Because your endorphin is produced. Oh. Oh, so maybe hope has that intangible spark. Oh, when I have hope, then my endorphin is activated and it's produced. Oh, then I can get better. I can turn on the genes. Hmm, then I can get better. At that very moment, those endorphin genes can be activated. But also the T cells, which can kill your cancer cells, can be also turned on. All the genes can be turned on.
But right now, you're not so sure. Why? Mm, may maybe I can. If you think that way, genes can be activated that way. Yes, I can get better, then genes can be activated a lot more. According to how much hope you have, your gene response is going to be different. So knowledge is power. Why? Because when you know something, you have hope. Yes, if it's, if it's that way, hmm, it'll work this way. So genes can be turned off, but also can be turned on. Our genes can be turned on, but also can be turned off. So right now, my situation, my genes are turned off. Now, those turned off genes can be turned on by some kind of power. Now, that power, that is, knowledge is power. So when you know something, when you have hope, in your hope, you will have the power, which can turn on your genes. And your green name tags can be changed into yellow name tags. Which means you can be a volunteer here as well next time, even though you're a patient this time. Then, not only your diseases will be cured, but you will be a very cheerful person. So New Star practice is not only about our sickness or illness. Now as you s think gene-centered As you think with the gene-centered ideas, you will have better ideas. Now those genes are going to be turned on. When those genes are turned on, Those T cells will produce lymphatic toxin, which can kill those cancer cells. When the gene is activated, those round shaped T cell is going to be changed that way. It's going to be long, wide. Even though we can't really see it, but it is producing lymphatic toxin and it's spreading. So that round, big shape cancer cell looks like that way. Those liquid contents are out. So when the t cancer cells are dead, it looks like that. Just a leftover. It can happen in your body. So those cancer patients get healed. 100%. If those happenings cannot happen, if your genes cannot be turned on again, then I am an imposter. But what I want to tell you, our modern medicine cannot turn on your turned off genes. Why? Because those treatments that you have received 
they were developed even before the doctors knew the genes. They had no ideas about genes at that time. At the time when they developed this treatment. So the doctors only developed anti-cancerous medicine which can kill the cancer cells. That is what they can do it. And that was what they could do it. But now it's all different. Even diabetes medicine, even though you take those medicines, you cannot get better. It can only give you the treatment. Because the doctors and the patients don't know how to turn on the genes. But at the end of 20th century, we are on gene medicine. We're studying genetics. Now, I am sick because my cell is changed. It means, oh, my cell is changed. It's because the gene is changed. Now, there are two kinds of change of our genes. Number one, the gene sequence is changed. And the number two, now the gene sequence is all right, but then it's turned off or it's turned on, either one. So disease means you have a gene sequence problem or your gene has a problem, which is means like, So all three cases, number one, your genes are turned off. Number two, your genes are turned on, which is not supposed to be. And number three, your gene sequence is changed. In 1980, you have gene sequence problem and then you will get sick. That's how when we found out. And very recently, we found out that uh, number two and number three cases, which means your gene, uh, which is turned on, your turned on gene, which is supposed to be turned off, and your turned off genes, which is supposed to be turned off, turned on. Now, if you have a gene sequence problem, then let's take it back. Well, turning on and off, we can change that. Yeah, I understand that part. But if the sequence is changed, how can we restore? How can we get it back? Now we have this question. Before I explain that, let's look at this picture. Now these whole ideas about gene is all from um, gene map, is from gene map. We had um, human genome project very recently and through that project we found out all the genes.
Now there is human gene map. Now this is the gene map. It means all sickness or disease, diseases are from gene problem. Now gene is in the cell. Those are the cells and let's look at that's the cell membrane and that's nucleus and in the nucleus there's DNA, gene, if you open the nucleus. There's a bundle of gene. We call those bundle, we call it chromosome. Let's look at the chromosomes. Now they look like that. And those are the genes, and those are the bundle of the genes. Now, how many chromosomes do you have? You have we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. And gene map means oh, that has this gene and that gene and this gene and that gene. Gene map tells you where this gene there are these genes are. Let's say endorphin genes. In your brain cell. Is in number. So and so. So gene map tells you where those genes are. Now let's go back to the gene map. That's number one chromosome, number two chromosome. There's a long, looks like a long bar. Number one is the longest. So that is height order. Number one, two, and three, they're shorter and shorter. Number eight, number nine, number 13, 14, number 15, shorter getting shorter. Number 19, very short. Number 22, very short. Number 3, that's XY chromosome. If the gene, that gene is changed, then you have leukemia. Chronic leukemia. If you have a problem there in number 18, then you have pancreas cancer. No matter how many diseases you have, you have all gene problems. Diabetes and breast cancer. Breast cancer is number 17. Crumbs, Mr. Crumbs, sickness, diabetes. Any kind of diseases are from here. Obesity, epilepsy, all 
Alzheimer and all different kinds of diseases are from there. You have colon cancer, lung cancer, Parkinson's disease. And you have arteriosclerosis. All these diseases are from the gene problem. So what does that mean? You're healed. Means you're going to restore your changed genes. So far you have thought this way. Every disease have every different treatment. But actually that is not true. Even though you have different kinds of diseases. Okay, let's say symptoms, treatment for the symptoms can be different. But to heal your gene, to heal your diseases, to restore your genes, only one way. You have to restore your genes. Doesn't matter what kind of diseases, but if you restore your genes, you will be healed. So you have hope. You have hope. That's the beauty of New Start practice. So you don't have to say, oh, this, sick, this disease is getting better, but that disease is not. You don't have to say that. If every disease is from gene change, then abnormal can be normal. Normal can be abnormal. So your abnormal genes can be normal genes. It means no matter what kind of disease you have, you can be healed. You have hope. Now everybody, As you listen to this lecture, to have certain hope, you have to understand fully, oh yes, that is how. You have to trust in it. Ah, oh, Sang Lee's all lying. Oh, that can happen then your genes are not going to respond. With that kind of thoughts, your genes won't be activated. So I shouldn't, and that's why I have to live up to your expectation. If I lose trust from you, then you have no hope because you don't trust what I say. Sang Lee, Dr. Sang Lee is a trustworthy man. I will believe what he says and I trust him. then you have hope. If you don't believe in the speaker, actually the message is not delivered. But then we live in the world of doubt. So you have this habit, doubting others and doubting things. So even though I say something very sure, You don't really respond correctly. Uh, maybe 
unconsciously you're facing the wall which prevents you to trust someone or something. And you've been tamed that way. That is your bad habit. So here you have to fight for your bad habits. When Dr. Sengni says something like this, then you have to clearly believe. And you have to clearly show your respond. Now, when you are very honest in this world, you get, you can be a victim. So sometimes, even though you're upset, you don't pretend that you're upset. Even though you're happy, you don't pretend that you're happy. You protect yourself. But this is not the time like that. The more you believe, better for your genes. The stronger faith you have, it's better for you. Now, you, re you respond like this. Mm, it's not. It's not good enough. It's not 100% respond. It's just 40% respond. Oh, yeah, okay. You're right. In this way, now let's say you're going to spend your eight nights and nine, eight nights and nine days here. It's very short. Try to avoid your bad habits because if you keep your bad habits, that's not going to help you. So when I tell you the very um, the most important thing, if you think it is right, then what? You have to respond this way. Yeah, right, yes. If I say, if I lie to you, then of course this is embarrassing, but I tell you something very important and very certain things. Now you show your respond clearly. Now if you say, yeah, and this way, um, yeah, your endorphin, which, which will be produced more? If you don't want to lose, then show your respond clearly. So because of your cell change, you have disease. All these times we call these disease adult disease. Why? Because those diabetes and cancer, those we thought, mm, when you reach 50s, then you have this disease. We thought as you grow older, uh, we thought those genes can be changed easily. So, you know, when you have, when you deliver a baby when you're in 20s or, you know, when you were young, then uh, you have very low possibilities of having a deformed baby. But when you get older, when you have a baby, you have high possibilities to have deformed baby. So people thought when you get older, you get sick easily. But now these days, even though you're in 20s, in your 20s, you are sick because of all the stress and, you know, gene change. 
So it's not about your age, it's about your lifestyle. It's your lifestyle disease. So your lifestyle has great influence over your genes. So what is the worst lifestyle you have? Now you need to trust people, but then you have to doubt. You need to doubt people around you. And you get disappointed. You need to live happily, but then there are many things that you're upset about. And then now your genes are turned off. So here in this place, make sure you change your lifestyle that you have had Because of your lifestyle, you get sick. That is why. Therefore, while you stay here, you have to do your best. To develop yourself. And you have to, because you know that your genes can be restored. Yes. Now we have different atmosphere here. Remember, cheerful. We're up. Now your genes are. Now they're 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 now trying to activate. So tonight, when I was at the back of the stage, I was very surprised to hear what the volunteers said. There is a, there was a lady. This woman, she couldn't say. A while ago, she was very shy. When she introduced, I was very surprised. She had retinal problem. It got very thinner and thinner and thinner. Now this modern medicine cannot help her. Her eyes got better, her character got better. She's been uh, very shy and uh, intimidated. So she couldn't serve I and mean, help other people. But now today, oh, I was shocked. I was surprised and very happy to see her change. Now I can tell that she won't have second attack anymore. Please come forward. Come here. Oh, she's prettier than ever. Oh, you want a microphone. In the beginning, volunteers came to me and they spoke to me, but I didn't like it. And I tried to avoid them. And then later I realized that is so wonderful. I was very thankful later. And then later I tried to go to them and speak to them. And in school, same way. 
I go to my friends first, and I try to smile first. Now, Sang Ni, Dr. Sang Ni said, when you believe in something, it'll happen. So I decided to believe. So even though I was depressed, even though I didn't feel like smiling, but I tried to smile, and I became very positive. And I try to read only positive books. And I think that's why I got changed. Give me a kiss. Oh. Wonderful. She's totally changed. She was very extremely shy. Oh. I was so frustrated because she was so so shy. Oh, my face is flushed. Oh, I don't feel like it, but now everyone. Think positive. Be positive. As you listen to the lecture, you will find out the cause why you got sick. Now, I am responsible for my s disease. So you have to change yourself. If you keep yourself, then you won't get better. You have to get the treatment only because you don't want to try. You don't want to change. My genes, my cells are changed. Now, the, the doctors said she's going to lose her sight. That's what the doctors said. Doctor said she's going to lose her sight, eyesight. And if she doesn't change, she, yeah. Because she couldn't see clearly, she was doing that. I was very sorry for her. But now, I'm very happy to see her change. Now her cells changed and then her eyes got worse, bad, but then because her genes are changed again, she can get better. Now those turned off genes can be turned on and your personality can be changed as well. So everyone, make sure you have hope. Remember lifestyle disease. Even doctors didn't know about the genes. I didn't know even back in 1988 when I was on TV. So when I was on TV, I talked about brown rice and exercise and things like that. But now it's the time for gene, genealogy. To change your genes, it takes highly sophisticated skill. It looks like you need a uh, great skill, but actually that's not true. Now, your cells are changed. Now, who knows how to change your cells? You don't know, but they're all changed because of your lifestyle, because of your, your lifestyle. So you can't restore your genes to learn how to change or to learn the skill. 
But if it's because of your lifestyle, then kick out your bad habits and change with good ha lifestyle, then your genes can be restored. Yes. So everybody have hope. You don't have to go to Harvard University to learn how to change the genes. Other people cannot heal, I mean, cannot change your genes. Start from diet change, exercising, and drinking water, and so forth. Whatever the things you hear, you eat, you look at, make sure everything beautiful. So those who have cell phone all the time, they have no good result. If your handphone is on during the lecture, you know, you cannot really focus on the lecture. Because, oh, somebody's going to call me, somebody's going to call me. You can't concentrate on the lecture. So make sure you listen very careful and you'll have more hope. You can trust more strongly that your genes will be turned on and will activate more. Now in the Bible, it says, God heals people with the word. Now what am I doing? I'm talking. Now if you listen careful, you will get better. That's how it works. That is the principle. When we didn't know the genes, we thought this is very funny. How can we, how can, how can we get people get better through the word? Now you know. If you listen very careful, you will find out why you got sick and how you can change your genes. Now with all the volunteers here, with nice food and lecture and water and air and wonderful songs, through those environment, make sure your genes get restored. Before we thought to restore our genes, we thought it's going to take a very long time. But then we found out that our genes can be changed every moment, every second. Now cell change we call mutation. The scientists find out that hypermutation, every second your genes can be changed. Now why and how? Because of my lifestyle. What kind of thoughts I receive. According to those things, your genes can be changed into a better way, into a worse way. So if you have a good thinking, if you have a good lifestyle, you will get healed. Remember, this is a healing. This is healing. This is not a treatment. I really hope that you have wonderful healing experience here in this place.